Welcome back to the Tool Crib, and today we are looking at another micro ratchet option for those who choose to EDC a micro ratchet. This one happens to be from Victorinox. Now, the price on this one, first of all, let me say that this comes as a kit. You can get the ratchet, the bit holder, and the bits that come with this as a kit for about $41. You can also purchase the ratchet separately, which is about $34. Now the extension is sold separately when you buy them apart like this. So this one runs about $11, but this is actually kind of worth having for this uh, particular setup. And then you can also get uh, just a replacement bit case uh, that'll run about $8.50. And then they also have the option for the L-Wrench that you could purchase. Uh, the L-Wrench will actually snap into this case as well. Uh, but today we're talking about the ratchets. So we wanna go over what the ratchets offer. Now, this particular one is a sealed unit. It, it, it's just the way they make it. It makes it very, very slim in profile. So it makes it more EDC friendly. Of course, you pay a little more for this one too than you would for some other ratchets because it is so streamlined. Now, it is a 40 tooth uh, uh, ratchet. So the arc swing on here is gonna be about nine degrees. Not the best. A lot of the good ones are gonna be in that five, six degree range. Uh, this one is about nine degrees, but it's not bad either. And the ratchet itself, uh, to reverse it, you obviously you just go either one direction or, or the other. Now, when you put the extension in it, the extension actually shoulders against the ratchet. And it makes it very secure. It also has a little uh, catch in here, so it has a little ring that will engage with the notches on your extension and your bits as well. So once the bits are in there, it makes them very secure as well. So we'll just pull out a bit and you can see the notches in this uh, number three Phillips and that will engage with that slight ring in there. I don't know if I can get that to focus in for us. You might be able to see it. There's a little ring right in the center of that that allows you to put your bit in. Now it will lock in and it engages with that. So it keeps it pretty secure. They don't slip out and uh, you, you know, to reverse it, all you have to do is push it out, flip your ratchet over, re-engage it, and now you're tightening. So this is a very nice little setup actually. Now also on the end of it, which makes this ratchet unique, and you'll have others that are like this as well, but I really like it for this fact, is that if you have something that you're driving in more quickly, then you can just set it on the end of the, this particular ratchet and, and get that fastener driven in. You know, uh, the majority of the way where it's it's just hand tight. Uh, what I wish they would have put on here, the only thing that I think this is kind of missing is for those applications, I wish they would have put some knurling in the body of the shaft of this ratchet. I think that would have made it a little bit more advantageous. But all in all, it does work pretty well. Of course, knurling would have made a little bit of a difference. I think it would have been a little bit better. Now, to engage it, it just slips in here and it makes it a, actually a, a pretty nice carry kit. Uh, this will fit into, you know, securely into most pouches, uh, side pouches or side pockets of, of different various pouches, depending on what particular multi tool you're carrying. It doesn't really necessarily carry that well as uh, independently uh, to carry in a pocket because you've got all these bits exposed. Now you can flip them around, but they're not gonna be secure like that. So if we can flip them around, well, they're not too bad, uh, but they just don't lock in as securely. It's definitely better to have them in this orientation. So that is one of the drawbacks to this particular not the ratchet, but the, the bit holder itself. So let's uh, let's drive a couple things in here and see how well it works. Well, I've clamped up a, a board here to the workbench so we could just do a little bit of testing on this one. Now, one thing I wanna note, this is a, a number two Phillips out of a Milwaukee set. This one's out of a DeWalt set. And you'll notice that they incorporate those same little notches in there. And so this ratchet, will actually engage quite nicely with your standardized bits, which makes it a very, very nice uh, ratchet indeed because it'll work with most of your standardized bits. Same thing is true of the extension. It has that same little ring in there that's gonna engage, so it makes it very, very nice. So let's, uh... oh, and by the way, pretty easy to tell which way is forward and which way is reverse. The forward is gonna have the Victorinox emblem on it. The other side is not gonna have anything. So. Uh, you can't tell it by feel. Well, you may be a little bit, but uh, just by sight, you can tell which direction is which without having to, you know, it kind of eliminates the guesswork. 
So uh, I've been playing around with this one a little bit. The type of screw that we got here uh, isn't self-tapping. So I'm gonna take, a, we're gonna just use the Victorinox Electrician. We're gonna create a little, just a little start hole here with the awl. Get it just a little bit deeper. Which, by the way, I love the awls on the ALOX versions. Very nice. And to get this started, we'll just set it in there. Get it in that pre-drilled hole. And I'll tell you one thing I, I like about this already is the fact that with this extension, I can put the downward pressure that I need to kind of stabilize the wrench itself when I'm driving into something like this. And then obviously get the, the uh, directional torque that I need with the ratchet. So getting it started is actually a very, very easy process. So this thing works really well. I'm really impressed with this. And you can put quite a bit of torque behind there without it. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's slipping in any way, shape, or form. So it's pretty strong. And I know a lot of people use this particular ratchet assembly. So I'm pretty impressed with this one. I really like this one. Now, one of the drawbacks to it, because I really like this extension, is that there's no way to carry it on the case that they provide. So the ratchet will snap in, but there's no way to carry the extension. For some people, if maybe if you have a different way to carry uh, some of your standardized bits, uh, you might this might not be a problem. You could find a different way to carry the extension ratchet assembly. I just kind of wish that there was a way that they engage together that would make it a little bit more appealing. Now, one thing of note that I, I, here's another thing with this ratchet is that on the end of it, you can, if you've got a fastener that you're driving in just to get started, it's uh, just finger tight, say, you can get in here and, and uh, get it turned. Now, because of the flat surface of the top of the ratchet, kind of gives you a little bit of purchase on there and it makes it pretty easy to get those started. What I do wish they had is I wish on the body of the ratchet itself, they incorporated some knurling here. That would make it a little bit easier uh, on top of that. But all in all, I like this ratchet. Now, it's a little bit pricey at $41 for this kit. Uh, again, you can get the ratchet itself separate for $35, but the extension is separate and that's gonna run you about $11, but it's worth having with this ratchet, I think. So I'm gonna leave all the links below to each one of these as a kit uh, and each piece individually separately. In fact, you can even get this piece separate as well. So I'll leave some links below in the description and uh, pinned to the comments. So if you wanna check out this ratchet, I really like this one. And I, I'll tell you what I really like most about it. I like the fact that it is so thin and so streamlined. Now there's gonna be better ratchets out there. There's gonna be ratchets with uh, with a shorter arc and they're going to be stronger overall but for an edc option i think this is a very very good set my name is ben you've been watching the texas tool crib i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next one. Oh, one last thing before i go for those that are curious this is the leatherman uh, bit extender this will work in conjunction with the leatherman bit extender as well but the fact that it doesn't have the incorporate those little notches is going to mean that this is going to slide it's not going to be quite as secure as what you get with the standardized ratchet. So for those that are considering carrying something like this with Leatherman, just know that it will work, but it doesn't work quite as well as the regular extension. Thanks for watching. See you next time.